They're really big. I have some more doubts about what it's going to be. And uh, it's an important decision. It's a boring face. <laughs> it's a really strange way of painting a horse. my vlog welcome to my studio um, today I'm going to start two new paintings I've got two canvases still wrapped and new going to unwrap them and uh, start two new paintings I have no pressure now for finishing a painting uh, for a certain time so I just uh, have uh, well uh, all the time I need and uh, I actually prefer working at two or more canvases and just take my time Well, they're really big and heavy, but I like them. I love this sound every time again. To unwrap a new canvas always feels like I'm unwrapping a present. I like the 3D canvases because uh, it has more room to paint on the sides, like here. I prefer painting on the side because uh, you don't need to frame it like that. Well, now I have to decide which one I'm going to paint. Which one of the beautiful pictures I took in the lake. They're all really nice. You would say just paint the ones you like the most, but I also have to think about the other two paintings I made of uh, things in the water and I think they should match and should they both be uh, horizontal or vertical um, does it matter if it if it's not the same what will it do for the total image does the total image matter <laughs> those are all the questions that cross my mind a painting a new painting has to trigger me and uh, it has to be new in a way. I do not want to paint more of the same, but there has to be a little bit of a challenge or something different, and then it makes me want to paint it. Well, at least they all have a sort of the same background color, so I can start doing that and then uh, have some more doubts about what it's going to be. I painted the background on two canvases yesterday and now I'm going to decide what to paint on it. And uh, it's an important decision because once I've decided it's difficult to change. So I'll take my time and uh, then I'll start. Doubting, doubting, doubting. I don't know yet. I 
I finally made a decision. So it took a while, but uh, this is going to be it. going to continue today and uh, well, I feel like it too at the same time. Whenever I need an extra hand I always put my brush in my mouth. It's a strange habit. I mean. It's a lot of work but it always is but there's no hurry, no rush so it's fine. going to put some background color in. It's a little bit difficult, but um, we'll see. Well, it's just the first step of uh, getting some uh, depth in it. In this stage, the paintings are not really nice to look at. They're um, rough and um, well there are no there are no details and uh, it's just the first phase the first uh, colors Welcome to another day of painting. It's nice weather and uh, lots to do. I just made the setup of the paintings, just the uh, first uh, lines, colors, but nothing is uh, refined. It's all um, well, the, the, the rough start and it doesn't really look pretty yet. So I always call this face the ugly face. It doesn't look nice yet, but I know it's going to be better and nicer. Um, it's a lot of work to make it that way, but um, I'm uh, confident enough to know it, it will be okay.
you can see it's time for more detailing and um, it requires a lot of concentration so for me now it's more difficult to switch from one canvas to the other so for now I just stick to this uh, problem <laughs> and then I'll go to the other canvas this is a complicated bit in uh, Holland we have an expression and it's called uh, door de boom het bos niet meer zien which means there are too many trees to see the forest and uh, well that's going on right now Good morning, it's a rainy day, uh, but it's a perfect weather to paint, so uh, I'm going to start. This uh, teapot has a pattern. I don't know if you can see it. It has a pattern. Um, but to make the pattern, the teapot itself has to be good in light and form, but it's... Um, more boring to paint than the pattern so it's always a it's a boring face <laughs> As you can see here, I'll show you, here, I already painted the horse, it's a horse and um, it's a really strange way of painting a horse, um, but I think it's working. Both paintings are not finished yet, but uh, you'll probably see the result in another vlog. And I uh, hope to see you then. Did you like this video? Let me know I like my video or leave some comments. Uh, do you want to see more? Check this one or this one. And if you really don't want to miss anything at all, subscribe to my channel with this button and you'll get notified if I upload something new.